So initially I came to America uh, on a holiday and met my wife in New York City. Uh, we fell hopelessly in love at that time. I flew her back to Australia and a couple of weeks later we got engaged and several months after that we got married. Uh, we lived out there for a couple of years and it wasn't until um, our first child came along that we decided to move back to America. And people would say, oh, I love your accent, you know, I've always wanted to go to Australia. And I started asking the question, well, why don't you go? And they said they don't know how to. I thought there was a need there for someone to come from Australia to tell Americans how to see Australia and New Zealand the best possible way. Not long after we started creating itineraries for Australia and New Zealand, we found out very quickly that our clients were loyal to us. They came to Australia and did Australia with us. They went to New Zealand and they went to the islands of the South Pacific. They said, well, where else can I go? And the first destination we moved to was Southeast Asia, then more up into China and Japan, then across to South Africa, Eastern Africa, Egypt, and on to India. We don't do the same trip twice. Every time we speak to a new client, um, we're starting off with a blank piece of paper and creating the trip to exactly their needs and their desires. We're very fortunate in the fact that we have some seasoned travel consultants with us in our family and they're actually from the destinations that they're selling. So if you're going to talk to someone about going to Australia New Zealand, you're going to speak to a true blue Aussie. I think in the luxury travel market, things have changed because there's been a lot more luxury products coming onto the marketplace. In Africa, for example, you've got mobile tented safari camps becoming more and more popular, and they're now luxurious mobile tented camps. I call it rustic luxury, when you might be out there during the day doing something quite adventuresome. But then in the evening, you want to come back to a nice lodge, a nice cocktail, a nice dinner, and a beautiful bed to sleep in. I think the future of luxury travel is only limited by the traveler's imagination. We can open up museums, we can close museums, uh, we can have private events on, on almost anything you want to do. It's really like a 24-hour concierge service. Everyone has a dream of where they want to go, what they want to do, when they want to do it. Uh, at Swain Destinations, we actually fulfill those dreams for you.